Is this the part where we start kicking? No, SpongeBob, that's a chorus line. Kicking? Oh, I want to do some kicking! <laughs> Why you? Why? <laughs> Whoever's the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. I really think you should be. What's up? So, Toby Shannon Top Topic, Sherry Teach 5 11 of 2 iOS 16. The first week is called Vibin, and this week does score hours 14.0 to 16.1.1. Vibe to your music distraction free. So, aim to uh, disable distractions while listening to music, enables not disturb, and hides the lost notifications to keep things clutter free when playing music. It's perfect for stopping alerts and things when playing music through a speaker or in, in a car. All features can be toggled on and off individually through the settings pane. It also hides the Do Not Disturb banner. 360 uh, with a bunch of Chinese letters. Um, so this tweak is a pro version of 360, which which you can fake your location uh, required to get you know more potential customers. But pretty much with this tweak allows you to fake your location. It supports all iOS versions of iOS 5.1.1 up to iOS 16.4 and all iOS devices, so all these iPhones, which is pretty much all of them. Up to the 13 Pro Max, I believe. Yeah. So you also get your fake drive, which is pretty cool, sweep and static. So you can do like a fake drive route, and it fakes your, um, you know, location and pretends you're actually driving somewhere that you're not. Apps and this is a fluent app. Buttons anywhere you guys want. Sports hours 11 to 15.7.8. Alright, so your favorite apps, wherever you want them, whenever you choose. So you click um, on the button away. So these bubble apps, you guys can create any app shortcut on your screen, drag and place them on the fly wherever you choose. App badges are now included, and you're between various uh, in app options. That does support uh, iOS 11 15.7.8, Rootful, and Rootlist jailbirds. You can add current apps to uh, blacklist, lock bubble apps. Hide them, save current positions, align options. And yeah, pretty cool. A battery uh, buddy. And to tweak the place of the traditional status bar, a battery indicator with the facial expression that reflects the current battery level. And with the latest update, version 1.3.5 update, the past support, uh, true rootless. Now so we have Crane, iOS 14 Plus, Crane, rootless, and Crane Light. Light Crane Light is the free version so you can try it out so with crane pretty much it allows you to have multiple containers um, per your applications so you can have multiple in containers or instances per your applications so you can do like two different apps and two different progresses uh, you know and choose between both of those progresses separately on the same device step and customize health data so you see flag it's in like Chinese I believe Alright, this is called Jade, and your control center brought a new. By uh, Nightwind Dev. Pass, the other tweak is fake passcode. Um, yeah, fake pass. We got just a quick, um, pretty much video covering three tweets quickly um, that actually did give someone a like boot loop and all that. So, I personally installed two of these tweets, I installed UU and what's what to suit three ports app and never had that issue, but just keep in mind, be careful when installing these three tweets because it possibly can boot up your device. So um, it didn't give me, give me that problem, but it can give you some troubles, um, these three tweets. The first one is what to suit three for WhatsApp, pretty much a WhatsApp plus plus, get a bunch of cool WhatsApp features, uh, doo doo. And the last one is UU. So it's like a YouTube tweet. So those three tweets, UU, do do <laughs> what this U3 can give you uh you know some problems with your jailbreak. I installed UU and what's U3 and 
it was fine for me, but possibly for the newer iOS versions with like iOS 15, iOS 16 jailbreak, it just can give you problems. That's just what somebody said. Um, so you use a tweet for YouTube, requires at least iOS 13 and up. So if you're a YouTuber, if, you, if you're a YouTube app user, then you have to use this tweak. Enjoy videos with audio options, audio downloads with important features, play videos in picture picture, background audio playback, and a whole lot of other features. So these are the features you guys can read for yourself. And you can saw the IPA link. Okay, and the last tweak is called Dynamic Stage. This is a stage manager reimagined for your iPhone. Supports iOS 14.0 to 15.7.8. Some screenshots of the tweak. So it's a modern reimagine of stage manager for iPhone are from Blend with Dynamic Island. Seamless integration into iOS. You can expect full fluid gestures and animations that elevate your multitasking experience. You also can watch the video to see what you know you gain out of this tweak, what it looks like for actually installing it. And you know, read all those things right there. So yeah, some quotes and all that about it. Some reviews and all that, so you guys can read these as well. The last thing I want to say, guys, in this video is um, pretty much, um, you know, I just want to give a little tribute, a little respect at the end of this video to Latron Abult. He's uh, better known as Laughing Quote. Um, if you guys didn't know him, he's actually a developer, or sad to say, was a developer. Um, he did pass away at the age of 22. His relationship to our team was instrumental to our success. Chairs, um, as it stands today, Chairs did actually post this on, I believe, Twitter. Um, and I want to share this. So we're not this without his encouraging words and his commitment to help the platform when it was in a difficult position by launching his tweets. Knock this, Neo, Silicu Pro, and Watermelon with us. He was a power, a wonderful, creative member of the Chirp community and is incredible friends of ours. Uh, he will be sorely missed. So just pay a little respect and, um, you know, to him. He was an amazing developer. I reviewed a bunch of his tweets, guys, and to pass away so young is, is so sad. So I just wanted to attribute this to him, you know, this whole video to him, but at the end of this video, definitely attribute that to him. Uh, if you guys want, comment down below, and I will do, like, a full list of all of his tweets, um, and, like, a, you know, a nice way of giving back, you know, since he's done so much for us, um, and so sad, guys, he's really so sad. So, for anybody who knows him, like, personally, I, you know, anybody who's influenced by him, I do apologize, and I hope you guys can find peace. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.